Welcome to the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago's Women's History Month program. I'm Carrie K. Still, President of the MWRD Board of Commissioners, and it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to today's program. You will be hearing from a very special guest speaker, Congresswoman Robin Kelly, and from my colleagues on the Board of Commissioners, Vice President Barbara McGowan, Chairman of Finance Marcelino Garcia, Commissioner Kim Dubuclay, Commissioner Cam Davis, Commissioner Josina Morita, Commissioner Ada Corral Sepulveda, Commissioner Deborah Shore, and Commissioner Mariana Sparopoulos. Our Executive Director, Brian Perkovich, will also acknowledge several of our remarkable staff. Many thanks to our Public Affairs Office and IT Department for putting this program together. As many of you may know, before I was elected to the board in 2012, I worked as a water chemist at the City of Chicago's Jardine Water Purification Plant and as a water sampler and lab technician at the MWRD. These experiences, combined with my desire to improve the environment and growing up on the south side in a community that experienced urban flooding, sparked my journey to seek a position on the board. It has almost been a decade, and I am both humble and fortunate to be the first African-American president in the 131-year history of the district. It is appreciative and most rewarding to see how the board and staff have committed themselves to maintaining MWRD as the best governmental agency in the country, even during a pandemic. Women's History Month is an ideal time to note one of our many achievements, which is the increased number of women on the MWRD board. In 1889, there were nine men and zero women. Now, of course, that was 132 years ago, but fast forward to when I joined the board in 2012, times had changed. There were three men and six women, and now we have two men and seven women on the MWRD board. Now as for employees, in 1889, it was all men once again and no women. However, by 2012, our staff was comprised of 73.9% men and 26.02% women. Those numbers have held relatively steady. So as you can see, we still have work to do to increase the exposure of STEM to young ladies. Hopefully, our majority female board is inspiring many students to be engineers, scientists, or have a technical career one day. This past year will forever be etched in our collective minds. We will remember the pandemic for the struggles each of us had to face but through it all, our essential workers rose to the challenge and continue to treat wastewater and manage stormwater for more than 5 million people. This year's Women's History Program is exceptionally special because last year's program was canceled one week before the unprecedented pandemic. One year later, Many of us are still telecommuting, but that was not going to stop us from recognizing our women of water. It is now my great pleasure to finally congratulate our Women's History Month awardees. Principal Civil Engineer June Lee Bai, Labor Foreman Lucy Wilson Cunningham, Managing Engineer Kathy Lai, Senior Civil Engineer Lolita Thompson, Diversity Officer Melissa Torres, and Assistant Director of Monitoring and Research Jennifer Wasik. I am very proud of these women for their valuable contributions and enthusiasm for their career and for figuring out innovative ways to work during a crisis while remaining committed to the district's mission. 
Before you meet our five honored guests, I would like to introduce our guest speaker, Congresswoman Robin Kelly, who will be followed by my colleagues on the Board of Commissioners. Congresswoman Kelly was elected to serve the second congressional district in 2013. And since that time, she has worked to expand economic opportunity, community wellness, and public safety across the district. She serves on the Health, Energy, and Consumer Protection and Commerce Subcommittees, which overlaps the MWRD's mission, which is to protect the health and safety of the public in its service area, protect the quality of Lake Michigan, our drinking water source, protect businesses and homes from flood damage, and manage water as a vital resource. Thank you again for joining us today, Congresswoman Robin Kelly and congratulations again to our awardees. To everyone else, please enjoy the rest of our program. Thank you. Hello, I'm Congresswoman Robin Kelly, and I'd like to take a moment to wish the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago a happy Women's History Month. Thank you to my friends and members of the Board of Commissioners for inviting me to speak. Hello to President Carrie K. Steele, Vice President Barbara McGowan, Chairman of Finance Marcelino Garcia, and Commissioners Kim Dubucle, Cam Davis, Josina Morita, Era Corral Sepulveda, Deborah Shore, and Mariana Sparopoulos. I'd also like to congratulate the honorees Principal Civil Engineer June Lee Bai, Laborer. Foreman Lucy Wilson Cunningham, Manager, Managing Engineer Kathy Lai, Senior Civil Engineer Lolita Thompson, Diversity Officer Melissa Torres, and Assistant Director of Monitoring, Monitoring and Research Jennifer Wasik. Every day, heroes work and have worked at the MWRD. First in 1900, you reverse the flow of the Chicago River a monumental undertaking that saved countless lives. Then by constructing wastewater treatment plants and the deep tunnel system, these everyday heroes have made this beautiful city livable. We know that back in the early days, there were no women working at the district, but things have certainly changed since then. Thank you commissioners for your service to the MWRD and thank you to June Lee, Lucy, Kathy, Lolita, Melissa, and Jennifer, and to all of the hardworking women and men that protect our water environment. Hello, I'm Vice President Barbara McGowan. Happy Women's History Month. I'd like to take this time to thank our keynote speaker, Congresswoman Robin Kelly, for joining us and applaud our honorees, including Principal Silver Engineer June Lee Bai, Labor Reformer Lucy Wilson Cunningham, Managing Engineer Kathy Lai, Senior Civil Engineer Lolita Thompson, Diversity Officer Melissa Torres, and Assistant Director of Monitoring and Research Jennifer Wasik. The women we honor today bring a wealth of talents and skills to our agency. They run our water reclamation plants, manage stormwater, issue contracts to ensure fairness and inclusion, and oversee our industrial waste division to provide water quality. They maintain our facilities and complex infrastructure and coordinate innovative design work that keeps those critical facilities running. These women are the backbone of our organization and instrumental to our success. They are the glue connecting many layers of work, supervising and mentoring staff, growing our value throughout Cook County while showing tremendous pride in the services they delivered. I am proud to call them my colleagues. I know in this climate of COVID-19 and social distances, this is not the reception our honorable female employees deserve, but it epitomizes the adversity we have overcome to arrive where we are today. During my short time on this earth, I have seen dramatic changes in the workplace. Thanks to the hard work, 
persistence, education, and female leaders before us, opportunities have emerged. Before I became a commissioner, I worked as the office manager of the political education project created by the late Mayor Ham Washington. I then went to work at the Chicago Housing Authority and Chicago Park District before eventually arriving here at the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago. It has been a joy to watch this city, county, and state evolve and grow. Women do not only have increased opportunities, but they have achieved positions of leadership, and that is worth celebrating. We now have a female vice president, Kamala Harris, and female mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, navigating through some of the most difficult times imaginable in a worldwide pandemic. We have female city and state health directors, including Dr. Allison Awadi with the city of Chicago and Dr. Goji Iziki with the state of Illinois. I must also recognize Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton, Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle, Cook County State's Attorney Kimberly Fox, MWRD President Kerry Steele, Chicago City Treasurer Melissa Irvin, and CEO of Chicago Public Schools, Dr. Janice Jackson. The Board of Commissioners of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District was largely dominated by men for over a century. Today, we are led by President Steele, and out of nine Board of Commissioners members, seven of them are women. I want to thank my fellow commissioners for their service to the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. Advancements in the workplace did not happen overnight. It was not until 1980 that President Carter issued a proclamation declaring National Women's History Week, and in 1987, Congress gave women a full month of recognition. Since 1995, presidents have issued a proclamation to celebrate the contributions women have made to the United States and recognize the achievement women have made over the course of American history. Make no mistake about it, our work is not done. There are still obstacles for women. We still earn less on average than men. We carry more household and child care responsibilities at a time of quarantine and pandemic. We face workplace stigmas and double standards. We still need more women in leadership positions and pursuing careers in science, technology, engineering, math, and politics. I am thankful that the district does not have limit. Women have made great strides here, and there are great opportunities for success. Thank you for your hard work and dedication to protecting our water environment. And please join me in congratulating all of our honorees. Thank you. Hello, this is Commissioner Marcelino Garcia. And as we celebrate Women's History Month, I want to thank all the women who work at the district for your dedication to your work. I also want to recognize and thank my colleagues who make a majority of this board, who as women, you're triumphing and you're doing great service and you're doing pushing great programs for the betterment of society overall. Today, I do want to thank John Lee Bay, Katarzyna Lai, Lolita Thompson, Melissa Torres, Jennifer Wasik, and Lucy Wilson for being recognized for your achievements in the district as part of Women's History Month. I do want to say, even though we're recognizing March at Women's History Month, every day of every month of every year, it should be Women's History Month. We have to work together to keep making achievements and to make, keep making society and the MWRD a much better place for everyone. Muchas felicidades and congratulations on celebrating Women's History Month. Next year, we'll do it all together, this year virtually, but please get a vaccine. Make sure that your mom's relatives are all safe. Thank you. I'm Commissioner Ada Corral Sepulveda. I am honored to join you today to celebrate Women's History Month. I would like to take this time to thank our guest speaker, Congresswoman Robin Kelly, for joining us and to congratulate our honorees, including Principal Civil Engineer Jun Lee Bai, Labor Foreman Lucy Wilson Cunningham, Managing Engineer Kathy Lai, 
Senior Civil Engineer Lita Thompson, Diversity Officer Melissa Torres, and Assistant Director of Monitoring and Research Jennifer Weiss. To me, Women's History Month means recognizing and uplifting the countless incredible women who have fought for access, progress, and equality, even in the face of seemingly impossible odds. At the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District, we are proud to host many of these trailblazing women. Engineering to construction to research, we have innumerable women employees leading in fields historically dominated by men. Women leadership at the MWRD is also carried over to the Board of Commissioners, where seven out of nine seats are represented by women. It is uncommon for women to be the majority of elected officials in any legislature, and it is especially rare for this to happen at a unit of government as large as the MWRD. Beyond having women representation, the Board of Commissioners celebrates women leadership. Our top executive offices are represented by two record-breaking women, President Carrie Steele and Vice President Barbara McGowan. Under their capable leadership, the MWRD has risen to meet some of the greatest challenges of our time, equity, climate change, and the recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. The youngest and first Latina commissioner at MWRD, I am deeply grateful for the countless trailblazing women who have come before me. This honor comes with a responsibility to continue working to open doors and break barriers to ensure that more women leaders have a seat at the table. While they may not always be celebrated as the champions they are, the truth is that women are leading in every corner of society. This month and every month, let's commit ourselves to recognizing their countless contributions and supporting them as they aim even higher. As the saying goes, here's to strong women. May we know them, may we be them, may we raise them. Happy Women's History Month. Hi, I'm Cam Davis, Commissioner at the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. We're celebrating International Women's Day. And in particular, uh, we wanna celebrate the women in our lives who have made it a point to save the world's water. For me, it was a woman named Lee Botts who did a lot of work to help save the Great Lakes. Today, less than one in five water workers are women, according to the World Bank. We wanna do what we can to change that. Make sure that we're able to train women in STEM, in uh, helping them to, to secure jobs as technicians and entrepreneurs in the world uh, of water. And there are great groups like the Global Women's Water Initiative that help do that. So if you want to help out, hashtag women making waves, and let's do our part to celebrate women in water across the world. Hi, I'm Commissioner Kim Dubuclay, and I'd like to wish you all a happy Women's History Month. I'd also like to take this time to thank our guest speaker, Congressman Robin Kelly, for joining us and applaud our other honorees. Robin Kelly, Congressman Robin Kelly has been a dear, dear friend of mine for many, many years. We served together in the General Assembly. However, we weren't there at the same time. We have worked together on many projects together over the years, and I'm so happy to have her here with us today. I'd also like to applaud our honor other honorees, including Principal Civil Engineer, June Lee Bai, Laborer, Foreman Lucy Wilson Cunningham, Managing Engineer, Kathy Lai, Senior Civil Engineer, Lolita Thompson, Diversity Officer, Melissa Torres, and Assistant Director of Monitoring and Research, Jennifer Wasik. Hi everybody, it's MWRD Commissioner Josina Morita. Happy Women's History Month to everybody, especially to the women uh, at MWRD, all of our plans, MOB, thank you for all the work that you do all year long. Want to give a special congratulations to this year's Women's History Month honorees, June Lee Bai, Kathy Lai, Lolita Thompson, Melissa Torres, Jennifer Wasik, and Lucy Wilson. And want to say thank you so much to our keynote speaker this year, the fabulous Congresswoman Robin Kelly. Happy Women's History Month. Hello, everyone. I'm Deborah Shore, a member of the Board of Commissioners of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. 
And I want to congratulate several of the district's employees who are being honored during Women's History Month. And they're June Lee Bai, Principal Civil Engineer, Kathy Lai, a Managing Engineer, Lolita Thompson, Senior Civil Engineer, Melissa Torres, Diversity Officer, Jen Wasik, Assistant Director of Monitoring and Research, and Lucy Wilson Cunningham, a laborer foreman. Congratulations, please know we celebrate you and are so pleased to honor you this month. I'd like to share with you a few thoughts about a woman who's been my mentor and model, Joanne Alter, a former member of the Board of Commissioners and one of the first two women elected countywide in Cook County. The other was Joan Anderson, and both were elected to the board of the then the Metropolitan Sanitary District in 1972. As the story goes, Joanne Alter, who was very involved in democratic politics, went to Richard J. Daley, then mayor in the 70s and chair of the Cook County Democratic Party with a list of slated candidates and said, why are there no women on this list? And Mayor Daley said, well, I think you should run. And he slated her for a spot on the board of commissioners of the sanitary district. And so Joanne Alter made history in 1972 uh, by becoming one of the first women members of the board and first elected countywide. And it wasn't easy for her uh, to join the board at that time. The sto stories about her time was she was assertive, she cared about fiscal accountability, she asked questions, and one of her male colleagues at one point called her a brainless, brawless broad. I'm happy to say that won't happen today. Joanne served for three terms until 1990. She was the brainchild of the Centennial Fountain to mark the 100th anniversary of the sanitary district, helped to oversee the renaming of the agency to Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. She was one of the founding members of Friends of the Chicago River and really pushed for environmental protection so that trees would be planted and green space preserved along the lands that the Water Reclamation District owned. And uh, I've been so pleased to follow in her footsteps as an ardent conservation advocate joining the board when I did in 2006. And so many strong women have now followed that we're now a majority of members of the board. And I appreciate the opportunity to serve and celebrate all of our employees, women and men alike. Happy Women's History Month. Hi, I'm Commissioner Mariana Sparopoulos, and it is my honor and privilege to join this annual MWRD Women's History Month celebration. As we observe 130 plus years of service to the people of Cook County, it's notable that there were no women that were part of the Board of Commissioners at the MWRD in those early days. In fact, there were not many women working at the MWRD at all, but we have to put it in historical perspective, and I'm happy to say that we have come a long way. Today, we are one of the few Illinois legislative bodies to have a majority of women on the board. Women make up 50% of the world's population, and research shows that women are 10% more productive, yet we are greatly underrepresented in executive jobs. So, although we have come a long way, we still have a lot of work to do. But I am encouraged and am optimistic about our future. And one of the reasons for my optimism is the great talent that we have right here at the MWRD. Today, for Women's History Month, we recognize and honor some of that talent. And I would like to congratulate, congratulate the following honorees. Jun Lee Bay, Principal Civil Engineer. Katar Zina Lay, Managing Engineer. Lolita Thompson, Senior Civil Engineer. Melissa Torres, Diversity Officer. Jennifer Wasik, Assistant Director, Monitoring and Research. And Lucy Wilson, Laborer Foreperson. Finally, I wanna thank you for your service at the district 
but not only for your work at the MWRD, but for your contribution in moving women's history forward. Thank you. And I'm Commissioner Mariana Sparopoulos. Hello, I'm Brian Perkovich, Executive Director of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District, the Greater Chicago. I wanna thank Congressman Robin Kelly for participating in our program and thank you, President Steele and the Board of Commissioners for recognizing Women's History Month. The district is comprised of more than 1,800 staff and the five awardees chosen this year have varying responsibilities, but they all play an important role in our agency. We are pleased to honor June Lee Bai, Principal Civil Engineer, Kathy Lai, Managing Engineer, Lolita Thompson, Senior Civil Engineer, Melissa Torres, Diversity Officer, Jennifer Wasik, Assistant Director of Monitoring and Research, and Lucy Wilson Cunningham, Labor Foreman. All of our staff members have a great sense of pride as they work to improve the water environment. Thank you all for your commitment to the MWRD. Hello, my name is Jun Li Bai. I'm a principal civil engineer from the engineering department. First of all, I would like to thank our commissioners and the executive team for giving me this great honor. I have been with the district for about 18 years and manage and supervise in-house process design projects for nutrient removal and plant upgrades. I was also involved in Majewski Reservoir Rehabilitation as well as McCook and Thornton Reservoirs design reviews. I evaluated the impact of the Trump Tower construction to our nearby underground interceptor. I am a long-term mentor of the district's mentoring program. I enjoy talking to young engineers and motivate them to advance their career in the district. Before I joined the district, I worked for a consulting firm for, for three years. I was the lead engineer for McCook Reservoir Overburden Study. Before that, I did research and consulting work in Canada, Hong Kong, and China. One of the most interesting projects I worked on is the stabilization of the world famous Leaning Tower of Pisa. I conducted a 3D deformation study of the tower. My study provided valuable information on how to make this tower stand safely for another 200 years. Outside work, I'm a youth program leader in a community group called Hubei Association of Midwest America. I organize youth activities to promote community service and leadership enhancement. I have three degrees in civil engineering, a doctor degree from University of Alberta, Canada, a master degree and a bachelor degree, both from Wuhan University, China. March is Women's History Month. Studies show women have an advantage in softer scales we have a better way to approach others, to promote collaboration and the communication. The district is a leader in promoting gender diversity. Seven out of the nine commissioners are women. We have Ms. Steele as our board president. We also have Dr. O'Connor as the director of engineering. Over the years, I'm pleased to see that more and more female engineers are joining the district. I feel very fortunate to be part of the district family. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lucy Wilson Cunningham. I started at the district in May 15th of 2002. I came in as an MLB laborer. I worked as an MLA laborer on the sewer truck. I've worked as an MLAS also in um, channel maintenance. I've been in the batteries and I've worked with the TPO laborers. I like the district here. I've done very well. I was a laborer for eight years. There was a freeze on everything, so we weren't moving around at that time. In 2013, 
I became a foreman. Uh, I was working under the direction of John Chang. I was out by concentration. He approached me one day. He extended his hand and he said, congratulations. And I looked puzzled. I said, for what? And he said, you're my new foreman. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Really? And he said, yes, you are. So I was quite excited to be a foreman. Before that, I wanted to pursue a nursing career. Um, the only problem with that was I couldn't stand the sight of vomit. So could you imagine me being a nurse? One of my patients is sick and I run away from them. Not a very good nurse. <laughs> so um, from there, I've been a foreman under the direction of uh, Steve Winkle, who was a foreman before myself, and also Frank Cialino. I've learned a lot from being with the district. I enjoy my job here at the district. Um, working with the different people, you get to inter interact with different people. You get to know their personalities, their highs, their lows. Um, we're like one big happy family. Everybody's not always happy, but we try to resolve our issues. And for the most part, we get along. So I'm thankful to, that the district hired me and I love my job here. I'm 63 years old, married, four children, nine grandchildren. Not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to work and maintain, but until I do, this is it for me right now. So thank you. And I want to thank the commissioners and the executive director and all the directors for recognizing me for Women's Day. I really appreciate it and I'm really happy. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. My name is Kathy Lai and I worked at the district as a managing engineer. I wanted to express my thanks for the honor to speak to you today. I feel very fortunate and humble to be given this chance. I was not sure on how I should start this short talk. And finally, I decided to tell you a little bit about my career as a woman here at the district. I started at the district in May of 1997 as an associate mechanical engineer for MNO in maintenance at the Calumet plant. At the time, I was the only woman mechanical engineer at the district and one of the few women engineers here. I still remember being asked by people later on in the year, how come I was still around as they thought I was one of the summer workers. Since that time, there has been much change. More women have been hired. Not long after I started, the district hired another woman mechanical engineer, Lisa Kersell. As time went by, more women engineers continued to be hired at the district main offices and the plants. This has continued throughout the years and is still the case today. Over my 24 years at the district, I have witnessed the general increase in the presence of women at the district. As my career progressed, I had an opportunity to work at the various district plans and perform various functions, from Calumet to the Northside plant, now O'Brien, where I worked at the plant's maintenance groups, to Egan, where I oversaw plant operations, and to my current position, as the plant manager of the Kerry plant. Throughout my career at the district, I have been very fortunate to work with a great number of people, many of them women. I have worked with women engineers like myself, scientists, TPOs, laborers, police officers, trades, lawyers, and many more. Along the way, I have made many friends too. I am very grateful for the opportunities made available to me. And I know that I would not be where I am now if it wasn't for the support of the people with whom I have worked with and the district. I know the district provides opportunities for women to advance, and I am very proud to be working for this great establishment. Along with the women being honored today, I want to also recognize all the women that work for the district and thank the district for the progress it has made to be a more inclusive place. Once more, I am very honored to be recognized today and proud to work together with all district staff to continue, to continue support the women and provide opportunities for them to continue grow and advance. Thank you again. Hello, my name is Lolita Thompson and I'm a senior civil engineer for the local sewer section of the engineering department. I would like to start by thanking God, President Steele, the Board of Commissioners and our executive director Brian Perkovich for honoring me during Women's History Month. I feel so blessed and humbled to have been chosen to receive this honor with these other amazing and intelligent women. 
Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought that I would be here being honored when I started working for the district. Like many who started working here, I didn't know much about the district before being hired. All I knew was that I wanted a job with an organization that would appreciate my ideas, both the good and the challenging ones, and that would allow me to grow as an engineer. So I applied for various positions within the district, and three years later, I got that call that would change my life for the better. I was offered a position as a treatment plant operator at the Cary Water Reclamation Plant. That started my district career in 2013, and I have never been happier. After working for maintenance and operations, I was promoted to an environmental specialist in the monitoring and research department. Currently, I am a senior civil engineer working in the lower local sewer section of the engineering department. My job is to ensure that development activities within Cook County comply with the district's regulations. These regulations help protect Cook County homes and businesses from flooding. As the grandchild of a sharecropper, I came from meager beginnings. Growing up, I didn't see many women and even fewer women of color in the predominantly male oriented engineering field. So my dreams of becoming a chemical engineer were not rooted in what I saw on television or magazines, nor from any influential connections that my family held in corporate America. Rather, my dream was made a reality through a family that taught me that by prayer, faith, hard work, and perseverance, I can be all that I wanted to be despite the odds. My parents and family did not allow me to believe society's mandated theory that my achievements should be limited to stereotypical roles based on my gender and race. And for that, I will always be grateful. And as a result, what you see before you is a proud product of Chicago's South Side, a licensed professional engineer with both a bachelor and master's degree in chemical engineering. I must give a special thanks to my parents and all of my family and friends for your love and support throughout my career. My journey has not been easy. I have worked in previous companies where the glass ceiling was made of concrete that could only, could only be broken if you were a man. In those companies, my ideas were considered subpar simply because they originated from a woman instead of a man. That's why each of my positions at the district have been so rewarding. The district is different and it is a breath of fresh air because I see not just myself, but other women being given a, a voice that is valued and being given an opportunity to learn, to grow and to excel. I see the limits on women's success removed here at the district like I have never seen before. And I see many women in places here where only men were allowed at my previous companies. And that gives me hope. I am so grateful and thankful because at the district, I have been mentored and encouraged by both my male and female supervisors, along with other district employees who have pushed me to succeed when I wanted to quit. I want to say thank you to each of them and I am so grateful for their support. My position at the district gives me a responsibility and an opportunity. A responsibility to hopefully inspire another little girl or woman to dream big and reach for the stars so that one day she can not only do what I do, but I want them to know they can dream bigger and better and go even further than I ever will and hopefully they will have an easier time achieving their dreams because of each of the phenomenal women who have gone before them and chipped away at that cemented glass ceiling just enough to make that hole big enough for another woman to come through. The district gives me the opportunity to speak boldly, authoritatively, and without apology to people on topics that have historically been considered subjects that only a man can understand an opportunity to have my voice heard and appreciated, an opportunity to be challenged and encouraged to continue to excel, an opportunity to reach the highest heights and to pursue my dreams, an opportunity to be in supervisory and upper management positions, both of which would have been unimaginable a few decades ago, an opportunity to change the narrative 
and to show people that the engineering field is not relegated solely to our male counterparts, but that it is a field that is open to all, regardless of your gender, race, or creed. Every time I facilitate or speak at a meeting, I am given the opportunity to change history by making his story her story. And by not feeling that I am inferior to anyone in the room because of my gender, race, or intellect. In conclusion, I want to thank the district for valuing and encouraging the numerous contributions of women in the workplace so that we too can say like Maya Angelou, still we rise. My name is Melissa Torres. I grew up in the northwest side of Chicago, went to Holy Trinity High School, uh, received my associate's degree from Wilbur Wright College, and attended Northeastern University. My degree is in a major in biology, minor in mathematics. After college, I started working at the Latin American Chamber of Commerce. I, uh, it was something by chance that I stumbled upon where I assisted companies start their own businesses. I also helped them get certified as a minority or female owned business. And I helped them get contracts throughout the city of Chicago or pursue contracts throughout the city of Chicago. After that, uh, I had a great opportunity to go work for a consultant, Trino Inc. There I worked on the consulting side, not helping us uh, companies get started, but helping the government agencies um, monitor their contracts with regards to compliance. Uh, from there, I went to the Public P Building Commission of Chicago. I was the senior manager officer, compliance officer there for about eight years. I went to the CTA for three years as a senior major, senior manager diversity officer, where I had the great opportunity to come to the, the district to be a diversity officer. I've always known of the district throughout my career working with governmental agencies and I've always had a desire to pursue a career there. Uh, my passion to assist companies and minority and female businesses with um, certifications and pursuing governmental contracts goes way back coming from a family who um, are self-employed themselves who have their own Businesses have always strived to pursue uh, that American dream and me being a minority myself, I always had a passion to help those who might not have known of opportunities or might not have known how to uh, gain that knowledge and information. So when the opportunity for a diversity officer position uh, came up, I was excited, I applied for it and here I am today working with the district uh, pursuing my passion to assist those in the communities with work, with contracting, uh, being certified as a minority and female company, and uh, working for great individuals within my department that also helped me grow, have helped me grow to be the person that I am today. I am excited to have had this opportunity with uh, this award during this month, which is dedicated to women. I want to thank the president of the board, along with all of the commissioners who've been amazing uh, during this time. I would like to thank the department heads, especially my own within my department and my fellow colleagues and teammates within my department that have helped me throughout my five years and hopefully for the next 30 years up to when I, I retire with the district. Uh, I look forward to all of uh, the awardees that have also uh, have had this opportunity and what each future each year will have for me at the district and all the exciting new events that, that I'll be, be able to be a part of. Um, the district has allowed me not only to grow within my department, but has allowed me to grow as an individual with all the people that I've encountered, all the different departments and all the knowledge and the wealth of knowledge, I should say, that comes with being a part of this team as a whole from the top all the way down to the bottom. Hi, my name is Jennifer Wasik and I'm the Assistant Director of the Monitoring and Research Department in the Industrial Waste Division. 
Uh, thank you so much to the Board of Commissioners and our Public Affairs section for giving me the honor of speaking with you today for Women's History Month. It's not every day that you get rec recognized in this deliberate way, so I'm very grateful to be acknowledged uh, for the work that I do here at the district. Of course, I'd prefer to be with all of you mingling in person over a cheese tray, but this is good too. Uh, I can't say that my career path was necessarily too circuitous or noteworthy. Um, it's possible it's what you'd call predictable, actually. I can remember writing in my college entrance essays that growing up in Michigan, uh, the Great Lakes state, uh, I wanted to study and ultimately work to protect water. So that is what I set out to do quite a while ago, starting at the University of Michigan, studying biology, and then following up later with an MS in environmental management from IIT. Uh, as far back as I can remember, I was catching little critters in the woods and creeks and making observations about nature. So besides brief stints in cancer research at a lab in Boston and a research station in the Alaskan Arctic in 1999, I have mainly worked in the Great Lakes area for my whole career, uh, including my 20 years at the district. So for most of that time, I worked in the aquatic ecology section doing waterway monitoring and addressing watershed and water quality issues. Um, and then about a year and a half ago, I switched gears and took on a new role with the industrial waste division, still in the monitoring research department, but now overseeing pretreatment, cost recovery, and uh, the resource recovery ordinances, as well as uh, industrial user sampling. So taking on a new role at the agency after all these years has been quite a mind expanding experience for me, especially when COVID hit, but uh, I'm settling in and very grateful to get new insights um, to a whole different side of the water quality equation here in the Chicago region. Uh, I'm truly honored to work for an agency that's really committed to diversity and hiring and other business practices and an agency which encourages through outreach um, girls to study STEAM and women to work and succeed in the technical arena. I'm glad to see some of the important changes that the district has made since in the years since I started working here, um, like providing paid maternity and paternity leave. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely a huge challenge being a, a full-time working mom and um, having this type of supportive employer is really crucial, I think, to the, the strength and health of women. And I think we all know that what's good for the strength and health of women is good for the strength and health of families and workplaces, as well as communities and um, societies at large. So um, thank you again for asking me to be part of this virtual Women's History Month event. Um, maybe next year we can also celebrate a Women's Future Month event, so I'd like that. I'd like to see what that looked like too. So. Um, everybody take good care and I hope to see you all very soon. Thanks.